Greetings, zombie survivalists. James with the ZED here. And um, whether or not you're going to be mobile or static, and both have their benefits for zombie survival, you're going to want to think about cars or some type of transportation, some sort of vehicle. And um, the basics of it is they can be handy, especially if you're um, on the go, obviously. And even if you're staying static, in the event you have to get up and go in a hurry, they can get you going. Uh, the thing about cars is they have a, several factors against them. They need fuel. And in a zombie outbreak scenario, fuel is going to be a bit scarce to come by. It's not going to be just a gas station open and get it from. And it's a good chance the gas stations will have been pumped dry. Um, depending upon where you live with how many people that live there. So that's one consideration to think about. Another consideration to think about is they do make noise. They're not the loudest things out there unless you have um, just a straight pipe or you don't you have some type of custom exhaust to make it louder. But with the exception of some high performance cars, they're not the loudest things out there. And um, that's so that's a good thing, but they still will produce more noise than if you were walking along or or something else. And uh, the noise may be a worthwhile, you know, price to pay because it's not going to necessarily attract zombies, but what it will do is alert people. Like, people know the noise of a car. Um, just something to think about. Also, if zombies see the car moving, they're probably going to go walk in the direction that they saw it moving. So, that's one other thing to keep in mind. Whether or not you use the car you have already, or if you loot a car, you know, from the zombie outbreak, uh, something to keep in mind, sport cars aren't the best idea. They don't have much room for pe uh, passengers or cargo. Uh, if you're going by yourself, they may seem a little bit okay, but they can't hold that much. Full-size sedans, uh, they're a pretty good choice. They're pretty common to find. And... Um, or you may have one already. They have a, usually have a big trunk space and they have room for a decent amount of passengers if you have a small group with you or even more supplies. You don't have to go crazy hardcore with a um, tripped out truck for 4x4 in um, or a Jeep or SUV type thing. Those are nice and will have the best chance when you think about the roads now the fact that this road that we're on right now could be closed up or just backed up with cars, like all these cars should have been abandoned, which would make it very hard to maneuver a car around. Um, I could drive up on the grass probably, no problem, depending upon where I wanted to go, but those trucks, SUV ties, have a better chance. Um, you just have to keep in mind your fuel and uh, what you're going to keep in the car. What you keep in the car if you're static you're probably not going to use it except while in that car or uh, to get out of there. So those that's just some basic ideas if you're thinking about vehicles for the zombie outbreak. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. The bigger, more fanciful and crazy it is, like a P4 XL or a semi-truck or, or a big bus, uh, the more you have to keep in mind in terms of storage, uh, security for that vehicle, fuel, and upkeep. It's definitely good to make sure you can upkeep what you're driving. And one uh, last random bit of advice is if you're going to be seriously considering video, uh, vehicles, if you're going to really think about the one you want to get, say so you're going to buy a car or just in an outbreak scenario, which one you wanted to take off a lot, uh, learn how to drive manual. That will be your best bet. That way you have the run of the litter when it comes to picking any car. You won't be like, I can't pick this one that's here because it's manual. And it's not just sports cars that are manual. There are manual trucks and things of that nature, so it's something to keep in mind. Alright, zombie survivalists, until next time, remember to have a plan, be prepared, and stay safe.